This video is brought to you by Raffle Press. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add an interactive map to your WordPress website. So an interactive map simply allows you to add journeys, routes, points of interest on your map, and things like that. This is great if you have, say, a local business that you want to showcase something local on your site. This is also great for a travel website if you're wanting to show points of interest to your readers and even directories and things like that if you want to showcase multiple businesses. So let's walk through how to install an interactive map on your WordPress website. The first thing you want to do is we need to go to the Google Maps area. So we'll go to Google, we'll type in Google My Maps and the Google My Maps area is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click on that. Once you get here, you can choose to create your map. So let's go ahead and click on create new map. And from here, you just want to decide on what it is you're wanting to put on here. For instance, I'm simply going to put in the information about Disney. I want to add Disney here. And so I'm going to create this layer of Disney World. Save. And this will be all about Disney. So I'm also going to rename the map title to Disney World Vacation. And the cool thing about this is you can go in and you'll add layers and that depends on what points of interest you want to showcase. Or for instance, in this case, we want to simply get Disney World on the map. And so I'm going to type in Disney World. Here it is. And this is what I want. So I want to come over here and click on the plus. And now I've got it on here. And then what you could do is go in and say you're writing about the Disney World experience. You could also add in the different areas like the Animal Kingdom as a place that people also want to go. And we see this come up here. So let's go ahead and click on the plus there. And so now we have Walt Disney World Resort, Disney Kingdom. We want to maybe do Epcot as well. We'll put that in. And so now you're starting to get, to get a really nice picture of some points of interest that people can go to. You can even go in here and change these. For instance, I can click on this. You can change these icons to something else. There are several icons to choose from. So you can just scroll through and get the one that works best for this point of interest. That would probably be better for Animal Kingdom. But you see how that can start to really showcase some points of interest for your map. And then we have these three areas on here. And this would be great to share with your readers. And then once you're ready for, once you're finished with that, you could also come up here and do some distancing on here. You can add a directions layer if you want, add a marker. And these are just areas that you can add on here. You can also select items with a little hand. And if you do something that you don't like, you can also undo and click undo here. So now you see up here, we have these areas that you can either add another layer you can share it or you can preview it. Let's go ahead and click on the share button. And from here, you want to actually make it accessible to everybody. So let's go ahead and change this. And you want to make it public. Anyone on the web, because we're sharing this with our website. So we want anybody who comes to this to be able to see this. Now you can get this link and that's simply a link that you can share. But what we actually want to do is we want to embed it. So let's go ahead and click done and I'll show you how you can embed it. Now that we've done the sharing permissions on this, let's go up here to the three dots and we're going to embed on my site. And then we'll get this bit of code that we want to right click and copy. And you'll see that the height and the weight, the height and the width will be about 640 to 480. And that's usually pretty good for a website. You don't want it too large. So we're all right with that. And then let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. And then we want to put it in either a post or a page. If you have a vacation page or a Disney World vacation page, you could do it on that. For this tutorial, I'm simply going to add a new post and name it. And then down in here, we actually want to do a plus sign and we're looking for custom HTML. If you don't see it quickly in the drop down, you can also start typing in something like custom or HTML and you'll see that. So that's the block that we want. And we'll right click, paste that bit of code. And we can also click preview to see what it looks like. So it looks pretty good. Now we can click publish. So we can see it 
live on our site and then I want to view post. Great. And now you see this great little interactive map on our site that when I click and hover on this, people will get more information on it. Really great way to showcase areas of interest in on your website. Now, the second method allows you to use other mapping features like open maps or beings or other mapping services, and that's by using a plugin. So to do that, let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. We're installing a premium plugin. It's called Maps Marker Pro. So you want to go to the Maps Marker Pro website and we'll have a link in the description below. You can download the plugin and then once you do, let's head over to plugins, add new, and we'll upload that from here. So then click on upload, choose the file. So you want to find where you just downloaded it. And then once you find it and install it, go ahead and click on the install now button. You also want to make sure that you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Now, once you've installed everything, let's go ahead and click on add new map so we can get started. So we'll click add a new map. And from here, we want to choose what we want it to be. You want to either do a, a map or a layer. A layer is simply a way to stack all the things and all the features that you want to showcase. Let's just do a map for this. We want to start finding a location. And so you can start typing it in and then choose the one that you're looking for. So we'll click on that. And you see by default, it's choosing the Algolia places. You can use Google or MapQuest or Location IQ, but you'll have to set up your API key for that. So just to keep it simple, we'll use that and type it in. Choose how you want the width and the height to look and how, how far in that people can zoom. Now that we're done, we can click save. Great. Once we have set all that up, we want to right click and copy the short code. And again, we'll want to add this to a post or a page. So let's go to post and we'll go to add new. And from here you can type it in a name and under the block, we can say Maps Marker Pro. And then from the drop down, we'll select the Disney World map that we want to showcase. Once we're done with all that, we can go ahead and click publish. And then now we can view post to see it in action. Great. Now this is another map that you can use to showcase interesting points of reference on your website. And both of these are great features to showcase points of interest on your website. And if you want another way to increase traffic for your website, a great feature in a plugin that you can use is by using something like RafflePress. RafflePress makes it super easy to grow your website by doing giveaways. Giveaways are an easy way to set up and grow your email list or your social following. RafflePress is the best WordPress giveaway plugin on the market. To get started, just head over to RafflePress and make sure you use promo code WPB VIP to get the best discount on Rafflepress. And thanks for watching.